Since 2015, there have only been 21 regular season football games to break 10 million viewers. Now, we had five in 2022, only two in 2021, zero in 2020, of course, the COVID season, three in 2019, two in 2018, and three each in 2017, 16, and 15. So we can imagine that there's probably going to be at least three that make it this season or somewhere around there. The only two games uh, that did not include either Alabama or Ohio State in those games were Tennessee versus Georgia last year and Notre Dame versus Texas to open the season in 2016. Let's just go through the list of games. Uh, I know this can be a little tedious, but, you know, I want to make sure you guys have the information here, okay? 2022, last season, you had Michigan versus Ohio State. That's 17.14 million. Tennessee, Georgia, 13.06 million. Alabama, Tennessee, 11.56 million. Alabama, Texas, 10.6. Notre Dame versus Ohio State was 10.53 million. All right, back in 2021, Ohio State, Michigan, 15.89 million. And Alabama versus Auburn, 10.36 million. In 2019, you had Ohio State versus Michigan with 12.42 million. Alabama, Auburn with 11.43 million. And the most watched that season, LSU versus Alabama with 16.64 million. Going back to 2018, Michigan versus Ohio State was 13.2. Alabama versus LSU was 11.53. 2017. All right, now we've got three each this season. Uh, Alabama Auburn, 13.47. Alabama Florida State, 12.34 million. Ohio State Michigan, 10.51 million. 2016. Very interesting ones here. Michigan versus Ohio State was 16.841 million. Alabama versus LSU was 10.385. Notre Dame versus Texas was 10.945 million. All right, now 2015, the last one we're going to hit. Ohio State Michigan, 10.83 million. Michigan State versus Ohio State. You guys remember the upset. 11.052 11.052 million and LSU versus Alabama that year 11.063 million. So now, of course, we got to figure out which games can hit 10 million this year. Now, looking through the schedule, I did the homework for you, but I am curious your comments. Toss them in the chat. Let me know which games you think could actually hit 10 million this year. There is nothing in week 1 that can come close. But in week 2, we do have Texas traveling to Tuscaloosa. Now, the only way that I see that one hitting 10 million is if it happens to be on CBS. That's just about the only possible way that could happen. I don't think ESPN has a large enough footprint, mainly because ESPN has never had a 10 million viewer college football game. Week three looks bare. Uh, In week four, we do have Ohio State at Notre Dame. Now, for that to hit 10 million, it would need to be on at a different time than the Florida State Clemson game in Death Valley, I think. Uh, The question here, would ABC put that Clemson game on in the afternoon and let NBC have Ohio State Irish at night or or vice versa, right? You've also got that as the opening weekend of SEC play. So CBS uh, is going to have something like Auburn at Texas A&M or Ole Miss at Alabama going on. That could take away viewers. So that, that's an interesting spot. Uh, moving along to week eight, Tennessee versus Alabama did it last year. That could be interesting. Along with Penn State versus Ohio State, both would depend on timing and whether or not all of those teams are good, obviously. Uh, but those could be massive tilts on the same day. Big Noon heading into CBS, both hitting $10 million. Like, that's a possibility, and it could be a massive, massive day uh, for both of those conferences. And uh, I guess the TV networks as well. If LSU is undefeated, or at least close to it, along with Alabama, I could see that game, a potential SEC West championship game in Tuscaloosa in Week 10, as something that might work. Right, Last year's game drew over 7 million viewers on ESPN. And it was the same day as Georgia versus Tennessee. Like it, You already had a bunch of people watching football that day, uh, and it was a basically an SEC West uh, championship game. And of course, at the end of the season, you've got Alabama versus Auburn. Uh, it's the first meeting of Hugh Freeze and Saban in the Iron Bowl. And then you got Michigan versus Ohio State with the Buckeyes you know, going into the big house trying to break their first two-game losing streak to the Wolverines since 1999 and 2000. Uh, we had five games reach $10 million last year. I'm going to assume that we don't get there this year. Uh, but let me know what you think in the comments. What games do you think I missed here? Which ones can actually hit $10 million? Uh, Texas, Oklahoma has not done it in quite some time. And both of those teams not in the national title picture. I, I doubt it happens. But either way, let me know exactly what you think here. Hey, if you like this video... Go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and of course, jump in the comments.